Today I put every NBA player back in their prime and also return them to the team they played for in their prime. The NBA as you and I know it has been completely flipped on its head. The decisions for most players were simple, for example MVP Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook had been returned to the Bulls and Thunder respectively. However, I did have five super tough choices that I let Twitter decide for me. Ironically, those five decisions may have yearned our five best rosters. My first and least consequential super tough decision on a player was for Paul George and as you can see Twitter told me Indiana Pacers version was his pri- I I'm surprised he was an MVP candidate with OKC, but honestly this is a pretty nice outcome PG-13 while PG-24 back to Indiana with Tyrese Halliburton, Prime, Oladipo, Bubble, TJ Warren, they got a squad boys. The next tough call that I'm not sure I agree with again, Chris Paul, Twitter went ahead and said Clippers version is his prime. I, I might have voted for the Hornets, but whatever. I'm not going to complain about reuniting the Lob City Clippers, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, all still active in the NBA now back in their prime Danilo Gallinari six man Montrez Harrell they got depth too those Clippers also technically could have had Kawhi Leonard but when I went ahead and asked Twitter they voted for Kawhi to join the Raptors rather than the Spurs another super close call but I'm okay with this one the Raptors returned to their prime championship window with DeMar DeRozan also in tow that was an easy call also some of the young players like Scotty Barnes Gary Trent this Raptors team is legit however those three decisions can't compete with these two that are just insane for Kevin Durant, who Twitter told me was in his prime with the Thunder, not the Warriors. And my word, Kevin Durant joins Russell Westbrook, MVP version, current Shea Gilgis Alexander, young Surge. It's like two teams combined the best version of OKC and the current. This is insane. And last but certainly not least, of course, I had to get some help on where to put LeBron James, Mr. In his prime for 20 seasons, while Twitter said Miami Heat, and it wasn't particularly close against the Cavs, which did surprise me. And look at the Miami Heat, boys. I mean, LeBron, Jimmy Butler, who's currently in his prime NBA finals bound, Bam Adebayo, Hassan Whiteside. Yeah, he was rated 87 overall on like NBA 2K18. I had to show love. We've got Goran Dragic, Tyler Hero, Udonis Haslam from the all-time Heat team. Caleb Martin probably should have been Eastern Conference Finals MVP. This Heat team is insane, brother. Those are just five examples of teams back in their prime that are gonna make this NBA just nuts. Um, Yeah, it's gonna be chaotic. Let's go. And there you go, boys. Year one, I wish I could say I was surprised prize, but prime LeBron only averaged 24 points a game. What? How'd he win MVP? Wow, look at the magic going crazy. Paula won rookie of the year. Not surprising. Nikola Vucevic won six, man. That also doesn't surprise me. I'll tell you why in a second. Oh, never mind. I'll tell you right now because Dwight Howard from free agency via Taiwan back in his prime, back with the magic. Yo, they just swept these awards. That's insane. Our first team, all NBA, Luca, of course, Derek Rose back in his prime on the Bulls. Yep. Otherwise pretty chalk prime LeBron. All NBA second we see Clippers CP3. Nice. Kevin Love back on the Timberwolves. AD back on the Pelicans. Couple former LeBron teammates. And all NBA third prime Rockets. James Harden. Russ and KD from the Thunder. Paul George from the Pacers. Joe, th this kind of went as I expected. I love it. Interesting stuff in the play. Yo, how is Utah a one seed? Are you kidding me? The Kings slip into the playoffs on the West. Over in the East, Miami, obviously a one seed. Uh, I'm trying to think of what teams are. Yo, I don't see Indiana. What? Brother, what was Paul George? He was all NBA second or something and on paper. Yo, I mean, they kind of just missed the playoffs. MVP D Rose missed it too. Yeah, the Bulls are not very good. I'll be honest. But Indiana? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, there was one team that was clearly worse than every other roster in this one. I didn't show this earlier because I didn't want Lakers fans instantly clicking off this video. But apparently when you take LeBron and Anthony Davis and everyone, Austin Reeves and Alex Caruso could not lead them to a good season. I can't believe it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Utah is very, very good. I actually did know that. Donovan Mitchell returned there. So did Gordon Hayward in his prime. Boyan Bogdanovich was cool. Laurie Markkinen, Rudy Gobert. They have a, they, they have got a great roster. I wasn't sure what kind of impact Dwight would make, especially with him and Vooch both there, but Vooch won six. Man, Dwight, DPOY, they got a deep, really good two. Why did Terrence Ross only play two games? All right, this is kind of nuts. Our league leaders, Luka, 33, 10, and nine, but his Mavericks are not very good. They missed the playoffs. Otherwise, he would have run away with MVP. Same as Derrick Rose on the Bulls who averaged 32 and 9 but his Bulls missed the playoffs. Okay. Tatum was really good on Ted Acumpo. Yep. Prime James Harden. I love it. I love it. KD back on the Thunder. Bro, look at our assist leaders in this season. Chris Paul, Ricky Rubio on the T-Wolves back in his prime. Okay. LeBron was up there. That's why he won MVP. Rajon Rondo on the Celtics. Uh-huh. I mentioned how excited I was for the Lob City Clippers and they were in the playoffs unfortunately against the loaded 
defeated OKC Thunder, and this series wasn't close. A 4-1 series victory for OKC. How were they only a four seed? I don't get that. In the lone absolute near shock of the first round of the playoffs, Jimmy Butler, LeBron, and the Heat were pushed to the brink by Cade and the eighth seeded Detroit Pistons. However, despite it taking seven games, Miami did win, so I guess who cares? Am I right? Oh, and what? I, I talked them all up, and the Orlando Magic lost in round one. What are you doing, Dwight? Our West final was set with the Pelicans advancing to face the Thunder. Who needs Chris Paul, I guess, right, New Orleans? Well, after knocking off the Magic, Boston went ahead and took down Philly to find themselves in the East final. But again, Miami, what are you doing? They're pushed to the brink this time by Brooklyn. Brooklyn is not a team that should be pressing LeBron, Jimmy in their prime. What am I seeing? Well, they're going to need a miracle. Are you kidding me? Down 10, two minutes left. Maybe I shouldn't have put Hassan Whiteside on this team. Uh, Hassan, all due respect, might be tanking this heat season. I don't know. Or maybe LeBron just isn't coming up clutch after being named MVP. He turns the ball over. No. D'Angelo Russell getting his revenge on LeBron for making him be terrible in the current playoffs. That doesn't make sense. I am just so rattled. The West final would live up to the billing with two absolute heavyweights on both sides, and both teams came to play with the Pels eventually forcing the series to be 3-2, and the Pels have a chance to close it out in OKC. They're up to the Thunder. Will they avoid choking like they did in 2016 with this core? That's a tough miss, Russ. Prime Russell Westbrook, as usual, had zero conscience in the clutch. Russ pulling a quick three. What is he doing? <laughs> He made it. That was such a dumb shot, though. It doesn't matter. Whoever's on the floor is on the floor right now. Anthony Davis, can he finally get one to go? He's getting locked up by DPOY candidate Sergi Baca. There you go in the clutch, A. Disney. Season on the line. Kevin Durant is on the pine for the Thunder, and Russ is just chucking my word. Instantly shooting. After Brandon Ingram cashed a pair of free throws, Kevin Durant did check in with his Thunder down three. I'm not going to lie. 2K is crazy for giving prime Russell Westbrook a million shots tendency. He misses again. Good defense by Zion after surge grab board. That's probably game. I'm not gonna lie. Russell Westbrook taking every single shot for the Thunder in the clutch as they get eliminated is kind of hilarious. And I didn't notice this before. Victor Oladipo is on the Pelicans. Drew Holiday is not. Wow, the Pels sent Drew and a first to the Pacers for Victor and T. I guess Victor's younger in this world, so that makes sense. He'd have more value. Oh, and now I know why the Pacers with Paul George suck. They went into a rebound Build. They also traded Malcolm Brogdon and a first round pick for Jalen Durant. Would Oladipo and the Pelicans though face the team of destiny in year one, the Brooklyn Nets who have somehow forced a game seven? And no, they would not. Boston would take care of business. Very nice. Pelican Celtics in the finals. Uh, I guess fair enough. I didn't mention either of these teams in the intro, but we already saw how loaded the Pelicans are. Look at the Celtics with Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, of course, Rajon Rondo and Isaiah Thomas from free agency. I don't know how that works with all these point guards but apparently Boston is making it happen. I had such high hopes for this NBA Finals when I saw both rosters and both teams did come out swinging. New Orleans got their pound of flesh. Boston returned the favor, eventually going up 3-1. Ah, the Pelicans need a miracle with 35 seconds left. Bruh, they could really use a 3 AD inside. Ah, uh, this is 3 in the key. This is not a good look, and that's probably it. I didn't think the Celtics team was that elite. They had so many point guards, but they are our year one champions. They get number 18. This Universe Jason Tatum with a playoff masterclass 32 10 and 6 on route to finals MVP and a chip. Oh my gosh, the Bulls are back. MVP D Rose now at 98 overall. They added prime Rudy Gay and drafted Victor Wembenyama. Yep, the Bulls are on the map. Oh, the Celtics, the championship Celtics lost both Isaiah Thomas, Rajon Rondo. Uh, yeah, they're basically back to their base team. Lord have mercy. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? The Heat, Pat Riley said, LeBron, you've done enough damage. He got him up out of here with the quickness. Oh my gosh, where'd he go? Hey, oh, Dwight Howard joined the Jazz? Yep, that's what they... He replaced Rudy. They literally upgraded on Rudy Gobert. That's amazing. What? <laughs> How did yo? I, I could I couldn't have planned. I obviously didn't plan. LeBron went to the Lakers. Uh, okay, and he's only a 98 overall now. That's weird. Kristaps Porzingis joined him. Fred Van Vliet. They just threw a ton of money in free agency. Bro, poor Luca has nobody on his team. Not a soul wants to play for Cubes in Dallas. The Pelicans didn't really do much, but they look poised to run it back. Zion's now a 95 overall. Brother Kevin Durant's a 99. Shea is now a 96. Russ is a 90. If this Thunder team doesn't at least make the playoffs 
playoffs, let alone win a championship, which they should. I mean, I might just end this video. What? Kevin Love taking home MVP in year two? I mean, sure, those are insane numbers. Oh, snap. The Thunder are cooking. They move Russ to the bench, probably started Shea, and he won six man. Luka Doncic, Ben Simmons, first team all NBA. Yeah, yeah, this is an alternate universe confirmed. Derek Rose, Trey Young, Giannis, KD, Joel, all right. And Darius Garland stepping up to the plate with Kyrie. They take both guard spots on all NBA third. That's kind of crazy. I really don't get how OKC is only a three seed and they've got the Lakers with LeBron in round one. I didn't mention them a second ago, but the Chicago Bulls three seed in the East. Yep, D Rose, Victor, that's a quick rebuild. And now we see why Kevin Love won MVP. Great numbers and the T-Wolves were a one seed. Were they really that good? So Kevin Love 26 and Carl Anthony Towns. I can't believe that duo works. Ant Edwards is now an 89. Where'd they get De'Aaron Fox from? Wow, what are the Kings doing? They traded De'Aaron Fox and Derek White for bubble TJ Warren and Jaden McDaniels. That don't make sense. Oh, what in the world am I seeing? The Heat and 76ers traded Jimmy Butler and Tobias Harris. It all comes back around. The 76ers once chose Tobias Harris over Jimmy Butler. Now they've traded him. Ben Simmons is a 92. Andre Iguodala in his prime is there. And somehow Philly is only a five seed. Again, that does not make sense. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. I wasn't, I wasn't even paying attention. What? <laughs> the Lakers barely edged out game one by two points. Then they won by 15. Then they won by 19. Then they won by 20 something. They dominated the Thunder. That's a joke job. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm back, but I might have to end everything. If Toronto, a one seed, gets upset in round one, come on. Nah, bruh. Nah, this is crazy. This this is crazy. The ripple effects. If Twitter would have told me to put Paul George in his prime on the Thunder, who knows what would have happened in this year too. Okay, the Pacers kind of got busy in the offseason. They added Drew Holiday. I think that was last year. Did they trade for him? I can't remember now. But they obviously added Paul Millsap, which is smart. Yeah, Jalen Duran is there. Awesome. They were rebuilt last year and now they're into round two Ooh, and the lob city clippers have a chance to upset utah can dwight and the jazz hold on they're up one chris paul don't choke in round one again please don't do it man it'll be so bad for your brand the clippers meanwhile pretty small that's a tough shot from donovan mitchell and he bricked it can somebody hit a big time tough shot here for the clippers it's conley wide open and he's got it in the clutch wow we all know donovan mitchell's the one going to be taking these shots in the clutch and he missed another one we've got the mvp kevin love against anthony davis and the rain West champion Pelicans, as well a fun little battle of LA, the six, seven seeds. While in the East, we didn't have much drama as Boston advances again, and so does Indiana. They're making a run. The Timberwolves lost in six. Kevin Love, 27, 12, and eight. He played pretty... What? Oh, okay. The Pelicans casually added DeJounte Murray without me noticing, and he dropped 47 in an elimination game. That is crazy, but not as crazy as the Clippers and Lakers. CP3 versus LeBron go Going to game seven, this would have been unreal to witness in their prime. However, we do not have any dramatics here as this hodgepodge Lakers team, yeah, not as good on paper as the Clippers. Although LA, the Clippers were only a seven seed, it makes no sense, but they're advancing. And with that, we still have the potential for a finals rematch. Pelicans, Clippers, Celtics, Indiana on the other side. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, we, uh, <laughs> I, I, I kind of just, I kind of jinxed that. All right, we do have a finals rematch. I'm not. We want to see different teams, don't we? I mean, I guess when the Pels have 96 Zion, 96 AD, uh, yeah, they're going to make the finals. But the Celtics lost so many people. Tatum, Brown, Rob Williams, like this is their regular team. I, how did they get back here? But with a chance at revenge afoot, the Pelicans made no mistakes in the NBA finals, taking a commanding 3-2 series lead and in the deciding game six. Well, they didn't mess around, my friends. 147 points. Yeah, they're loaded. I still don't know how how Boston was here, but it's almost like they weren't. Am I right? Wait, let me not disrespect. Jason Tatum at 40, 11, and 7 in a loss. But it was all Pelicans, baby, who get revenge and beat the Celtics in year two. Anthony Davis gets his finals MVP, only 25 and 8. That's kind of relatively modest. And with that, I guess we got to see our NBA in its prime one more season. Either the Pelicans or Celtics.
let's win the best two out of three or we finally get a new champion. Year three, the Bulls once again look different, but probably better. D-Rose now a 99. They've added Demonis, Sabonis, Lavina still there. And of course, Victor, they should win something. Oh my gosh. Dwight Howard is on to his third team in three seasons. The Cavs who have lost Kyrie, but do they really need him? No, no way. Boston's going for it. Boston is going for it. They've added Russell Westbrook, breaking up the thunder. I wonder if the Jazz and Cavs actually straight up traded Kyrie for Dwight Howard because now Kyrie is on Utah and that's a pretty good looking team. Yeah. The Lakers were not able to get LeBron and Kristaps any help, so I doubt they're a contender this year. Oh, but finally, Luka's got something. Vucevic, Fred Van Vliet, Jeremy Grant. That's the start of it. Yep. That's a good move. The Pacers have surrounded prime Paul George with James Harden, Eric Bledsoe, who's up to a 90 somehow. Yep, that's a really good roster as well. It looks like the Pels have lost DeJounte Murray and maybe someone else. Oh, they drafted Brandon Miller. I did not even notice they could get back there. The Russ slander will be at an all-time high if the Thunder now, they just lost Russ. They basically made no other moves. Imagine if they now succeed. That would be bad. Yeah, okay, sure. Ben Simmons is uh, is now an MVP. That sure could have happened in his pro. Anyways. Wow, sixth man of the year. Looks like the Warriors finally made up for their grave mistake at the 2020 draft. And finally, Kawhi checks into this video, winning Defensive Player of the Year for Toronto. Ben Simmons, Darius Garland, Kevin Love, LeBron, and Jokic, your all-NBA first team. Man, Darius Garland is tearing it Morant, up. Morant, Doncic, Giannis, KD, Anthony Davis. Okay. Shea, Kyrie, there's Victor, Carl Anthony Towns, and Dwight Howard on his third different team. I can't believe it. I see New Orleans in the West. They are a two seed, of course. And the Celtics are a three seed in the East. We really might get another rematch. Brother, the agendas are going crazy. The agendas are going crazy. Russ left the Thunder and they really became the one seed. I didn't do it, y'all. I didn't do it. The Russ slander, it's not my fault. Darius Garland gets so freaking good in this game. He averaged 30 and 13. How did he not win MVP? With Russ leaving, Shea dominated 29 and 11 per game. KD 28, 6 and 7. Yep. Two teams that I shouted out at the beginning of this video, the Pacers. They did have a playoff run last year, but they just haven't been able to get it going. And the Miami Heat, who lost LeBron after year one. They've lost Jimmy Butler. They just, wow, what a fall from grace. Bro, there ain't no way. MVP Ben Simmons, Joel, they're about to get upset by the Pistons. And Detroit is up three points with a minute 45 left. The good news is Ben Simmons, Joel, this core for Philly has no history of coming up short, choking in the playoffs. So they should be good. There's Jimmy going to the rim. That's a big time bucket. Do the Pistons have a big time bucket getter here? Is Cade that guy going up against Simmons? I don't love this. I don't. Oh, he, yeah, but never mind. Never mind. He just went right by him. Sure, why not? Malcolm Brogdon is on the Pistons. He finds Cade back door. What a pass. What a cut. Ben Simmons going to work on Cade. That's an easy bucket for him, but can they get a stop here? Philly would elect to foul, and Detroit hit both their free throws, leaving the Sixers down three. He's got good position, but that's Whiteside. That, oh, he scored over Prime Whiteside. Okay, Joel, I see you. Detroit hit two more free throws. This is it for Philly. Joel in the clutch. Bricks a clean look at three. That, it, honestly, it was there. I can't believe it, man. MVP Ben Simmons was so good in game seven. 39-14. Jimmy didn't do much. Oh, man, they played well. But Jaden Ivey, of all people, led the Pistons. I don't know. This is chaos. I don't know what else to say. And with that, the one seed in our Eastern Conference of year three is down. Speaking of down, their hope at a repeat is in jeopardy. The Pels down 3-0 to Minnesota. And MVP Kevin Love gets his revenge. I mean, De'Aaron Fox and Towns played well. Well, but the Timberwolves, a big 10 point win. And the Pels just got swept. How do teams keep losing to the Pistons? It makes no sense. Brother, Cade is a 93. Whiteside is a 90. I guess they have, they're pretty deep on paper. Maybe it does make sense. I don't know. Kind of feels like Boston has another cakewalk to the finals, this time with Russell Westbrook. And the Westbrook agenda might be turning back to praise as OKC is down 3-2 without him. And they're going to need a miracle to force game seven. They're down six. OKC needs some quick buckets. Give the ball to Cade. KD, he's wide open. KD, why'd you not shoot a three? He dribbled out of bounds. Blood said the lights were brighter than expected. What are you doing? Even after losing Westbrook, no way the Thunder should have come up empty-handed in this video. Nobody wants to shoot. Kevin Durant's gonna have to force something up. Okay, wait, no, it's Shea with a hand in his face from Lons. He made it, but it honestly probably doesn't matter. The Rockets hold on to win by three over the Thunder. Shea with 32, 7, and 16. Giddy with 30 and 12, but KD didn't step up. And Russell Westbrook indeed got gets the last laugh. At least he advances further than KD ever did in this video. But uh, y'all uh, probably aren't going to believe. Well, maybe at this point you will believe this. I still can't, but Detroit swept the Celtics. So uh, 
Russell was laughing, but not for long. That is a 4-0 loss in the East Finals. The only thing left to decide was who the Pistons would have a chance to destroy in the finals as the Timberwolves and Rockets played to a game seven. It was an intense finish, but it looks like last year's MVP, Kevin Love. I mean, is he fit for the modern game or what? Leading his Timberwolves to an NBA Finals berth. Congrats, K-Love. We've already seen the Pistons roster enough, but look at the Timberwolves. Prime Cat really developed. So did Kevin Love, like I mentioned. Ant is coming along. They have 490 overalls with De'Aaron Fox running point. And despite being surprised by both teams that made the finals, it was a classic with both sides throwing heavyweight haymakers all the way up until a potentially deciding game six where the Pistons are on the verge of forcing a game seven. They're up one. Anthony Edwards going to work, getting around the defense. Why was he switched on to a big? That's too easy. Detroit season is on the line. Where will they turn? Hassan Whiteside, maybe? Oh no, it's Cade pulling up. I was joking, Hassan, but that's a big rebound. Yo, he kicks it out. MCW misses in the clutch. Anthony Edwards going to work. That's wide open. De'Aaron Fox, clutchest player in the league. Bricked it. Detroit, it's right there for you to force a game seven right here. Malcolm Brogdon, good pass to the corner. MCW, <laughs> he's a brick. Last chance for Detroit. They're down three, no timeouts left. And there it is, Brogdon wide open and he missed it. I mean, he wasn't wide open. There was a hand in the face, but still, the Pistons got no clutch shooting when it mattered the most, and Carl Anthony Towns was simply special, leading to a Minnesota Timberwolves year three NBA championship with the entire league back in their prime. Kevin Love actually takes home finals MVP after averaging a near triple double. After simulating three seasons with the NBA back in its prime, we had the Celtics, Pelicans, and Timberwolves as champions with Anthony Davis and Kevin Love, the two big winners individually. K Love also had a regular season MVP. A couple former teammates of LeBron back in their prime, thriving without him. Yeah, that might invite a little bit of slander, but I digress. If you're interested in more LeBron slander, I put all players onto their hometown teams, made 40 teams, put them into one tournament, and spoiler alert, LeBron choked.